Hi everybody, this is Austin Windsor with HTE Automation. I'm doing a quick demo to show you the URCAP remote TCP and toolpath that comes with every universal robot. However, it's usually inactive, so all you have to do to activate it is go onto their website and you can find these instructions on the TeachPad itself and register to activate this. It's completely free and everybody can use it. It's really good for uh, converting G code uh, from a CAD or CAM software like Fusion 360 or SolidWorks and then having the robot actually read that g-code and follow a certain path based on that g-code. So for example here we're going to be attempting to have the robot drill some holes. Let's say you had 500 holes or so and you don't want to program each one and there, there's not a pattern that you can scale on by teaching a point. So uh, I've created a plate here with uh, some quarter inch holes and as you can see if I hop over to the manufacturer side I've already created a drill path. You can optimize this however you want to but just to show you what we are going to be emulating I'm going to simulate this. So we have a drill uh, that's going to follow this path and this is what we want the UR to do as if we had a drill and defector. And I am now going to export this as a post process. So I'm basically now creating the G code. Um, Fusion 360 and SolidWorks have a universal robots post processing uh, software to that way it can communicate well with the universal robots already. Uh, and you can also download this on the UR Plus site. Uh, this is a great tool, highly recommend it. So I am actually going to save this G code now as HTE drill holes and I'm just going to save this uh, into a USB stick. We're going to save that there and in the bottom right we should see it has posted successfully. I do want to note you can adjust settings directly in here if you edit uh, your drill operation. I can adjust spindle speed, surface speed, plunge feed rate, uh, many different settings you can edit directly in here and as long as you have a newer version of Polyscope, I believe it's 5.11.6 or above, you can actually adjust uh, the, the tool speed or the end of arm tooling speed uh, directly within the G-code. So now that we've got that, we're done in our CAD and CAM software, we're going to actually hop over to the Teach Pendant so we can get this set up. All right, now we're over here at the Teach Pendant, and I want to note here that under Settings, there is the Remote TCP and Toolpath UR Cap activated. Make sure you do that. They will have instructions here. So now what you need to do is under the Installation tab, there is a UR Cap Remote TCP and Toolpath uh, tab here. So there is a very good uh, instruction manual here that shows you how to do this and walk you through it. But uh, so we're going to be using regular TCP for this because we're not going to be setting up a remote TCP like a uh, grinding tool or something where we want the interfactor to follow a certain path. Also make sure that this uh, controller is running. So you can always click start before this. Um, so I'm going to go into toolpath moves and I've already added this, but you would plug your USB in up here, load it from there, make sure that's in the root file in order to, uh, to actually import it. Once you import your G code, we have that set up. Now what we need to do is actually go into features and create a plane, which I've already created one, as you can see here off to the left. This will align the part coordinate system with a plane relative to the UR, so that way it knows, okay, this is the location of the board, and now I need to go to these locations based on this G code. So set that up. It's gonna be at the corner of the board, just where that part uh, coordinate system was. We set up in the CAD software. And then the last thing we need to do is create a new TCP. And in the instructions, it specifically says that the Z direction needs to point away from the part. So I've already created this. I called it TCP. Since I'm using a Roatik gripper, uh, the Z is 155 millimeters roughly. But I want to note here that we did a rotation vector around the X of approximately or, or exactly 180 degrees, so that way the Z is pointed away from the part, which would be up into the end effector. Uh, that's very important to do. And then you're all set up, and all you have to do now is create a move to an arbitrary location. That way it has a starting point. And then under UR caps, we're gonna scroll down to toolpath move. 
And under here, all you have to do is select your TCP. There are settings you can actually adjust in here. I'm going to turn that speed down just a hair and the acceleration down. So we've selected the TCP that we're using. Then under Toolpath, all you got to do is select your file, your G code, and then that plane that we created. Um, and from there, we are set up and I can play this from the beginning and it will as you can see, it's now going through that tool path and I'm gonna cut the camera over and show you what that looks like on the UR. All right, over on the robot, I'm gonna hit play and you will see that it will go to the first point in that tool path, go down and up, continue on to all the different points all the way around the tool path that was set up in the G code. And then it will loop through. So this is a very quick and easy way to actually uh, convert G-code to a path on the universal robot. And as you can see, it will finish the path now and then loop back through. If there are any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks.